The scheduled protest by a coalition of non-governmental organization against popular Yoruba actor Olariwaju Uminka, popularly known as Babai Jeta, has been called off. According to the group, they decided to cancel their protest because the Commissioner of Police in Lagos State, Hakim Odumosu, assured them that the alleged offence is not a bailable one. Plus TV Africa's correspondent, Destiny Momo, has more. While the last is yet to be heard on alleged sexual assault by the actor on Larry Waju Ominka, also known as Babai Jesha, the Lagos Police Command has doused the tension relating to the rumoured release of the suspect due to lack of evidence with an assurance of justice being served. The planned placard carrying peaceful protests was brought to a halt as the Commissioner of Police assured the protesters that the suspect is under their custody. But I want to assure us of the public that we should not be ashamed. Many people refuse to report cases of gender violence because of stigmatization. And that stigmatization now helps a lot of people so, to continue to perpetrate it. So I appeal to members of the public, no matter how minor it is, please speak out. Some of the leaders who were satisfied by the CP's disposition say they will follow the case to a logical conclusion. But for the CP's comment and what he has said to us today, I think I am going down with that and I am okay with his comments and his, what he has given us that is assuring us as CSOs, as NGOs out there that we should continue to do more advocacy and also the, he told us that the police are ready to work with us to make sure that anyone that commit any, any violence against children or women will be taken to court. All the issues ironed out and tackled amicably and he has given his word that um, the offender will not go unpunished. So there is, yes, we're satisfied with what he said. Uh, he debunked everything we were seeing on social media, so there's no need for the placard again. In that case, we placards. But for now, the, CS, the CP has assured us of um, due diligence and that this case will not be truncated. He is going to go by the tenets of the law and make sure that this um, case gets justice. So for now, no more placard. Antonia Ujenakbom, a survivor of sexual gender-based violence, says the healing journey becomes easier with speaking out. She also addressed the argument of men being victims of sexual violence. Your healing journey becomes easier. And the first step to healing is for you to speak out. We need to start encouraging the men to speak out. When a man speaks out, it doesn't make him weak, sir. Plaques were given to the advocates to further remind them that the police is very much interested in ensuring that sexual gender-based violence is eliminated and offenders severely punished. Destiny Momo for Plus TV Africa. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.